24 to 70 in the studio but I want to try this one so yeah here's the 24 to 70 millimeter lens here are the 50 millimeter lens so you see the difference in size I have a newborn boy coming in today so I'm just clipping on the um, it's like a sand colored backdrop during today's newborn session I'm planning on using the 50 millimeter lens only we'll see how that goes if during the photo taking process I realize it's maybe not the best lens for this situation I'll change to my 24 to 70 millimeter lens but I'm actually thinking that it'll be really nice with the 50 millimeter lens I'm sorry for the noise that's Freddy Freddy can mop as well heavenly anyway I'm going to get some reps and then um, have some coffee and wait for them to come.
what a gorgeous, beautiful baby boy. Um, gorgeous. So I photographed him on the sand colored backdrop, then dark wood, then this like green colored, like green blue color, and the mint green flocati. We did some family photos, whatever. And I did the whole session with my new 50 millimeter lens. I photographed a lot with the widest aperture there is, 1.8, and I love it. And yeah, the only downside is, is that sometimes, because you're sitting here, close-ups are fine, of course, because you can move closer towards the baby. Standing up was fine. I could take a photo from the top, have the whole baby. I'm tall, I'm like 1 meter 77, completely fine. But then like taking a photo of the whole baby in the decor, I sometimes had to roll back a little bit and take a photo from here. Uh, of course, I have parents sitting here <laughs> right behind me. So maybe next time I want to move the parents chair a little bit further to the back, which is fine because there's still like a lot of space here. And then I have more space to roll around on my yoga ball. So absolutely super sharp lens, uh, works great. I didn't use the face tracking autofocus, no. Because of course it tracks the eyes and when a baby is sleeping and they have their eyes closed, they don't really have their eyes open. <laughs> so there's not really an eye to track. Sometimes it is tracking it correctly by focusing on the eyelashes, but sometimes the camera gets lost. Also when the baby is lying sideways uh, or like, you know, tummy, whatever, the camera is not really recognizing that yet. I heard that there will be an update like for software because when I shoot sitter sessions, sitting them, I can do the auto face tracking and then like whatever. But when they lie on their backs, grabbing their feet, they're like sideways towards the camera. Camera gets a hard time focusing on the eyes. But I heard that that will be fixed in an update. Maybe the update's already here. I just have to download it. I don't know. But yeah, I did an entire newborn session with the 50 millimeter lens. Yesterday, a whole case my session with the 50 millimeter lens. And I'm happy with it. Okay, so currently I am in the studio waiting for a newborn session and it's a little girl who's coming in and I already photographed her three-year-old sister when she was a newborn uh, but because there might be a sibling coming as well the focal length of the 50mm lens is not suitable I think I need to zoom out more so so I'm gonna change to my 24 to 70mm lens of course with the adapter because uh, it's not because of course it's not made for the mirrorless camera it's just my older 24 to 70 millimeter lens but it works just fine with the adapter and with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens i can zoom out more photograph more wide angles so when i photograph the two sisters together i can um i have enough space here in the studio to get them both in the frame with the 24 to 70 with the 50 millimeter lens I would have I would need to back up more and I don't have that space in the studio I did maybe two newborn sessions with the 50 millimeter lens which was fine sleeping baby uh, I could stay close to the baby uh, or like bend backwards and then still get the baby in the frame because the baby was like nice wrapped uh, if the baby is like awake stretching arms legs I would need to back up even more to get them in the frame with the 50 millimeter lens but I don't want to back up that much when the baby's that active on the beanbag, even though they're not going to fall off, but still. So um, that's why now, from now on, newborn sessions, I'll photograph with my 24 to 70 again, um, instead of the 50 millimeter lens. It just, for me, it feels better taking a photo from the top. I can add in more of the decor. Um, I can even place the flocati on the Paloma shell and take a photo from the top with the 24 to 70 completely fine with the 50 millimeter i don't have that much space around the baby on the photo so yeah waiting for the little newborn girl uh and i'm going to show you some behind the scenes okay so the parents have chosen white so like creamy white
this case, I don't know what you could all see and what I filmed, but I was happy I got my 24 to 70 because she was awake a lot. So she was kicking and moving her arms and I could zoom out a little bit more and still stay very close to the baby. Um, and yeah, sibling photos was great. Um, family photos. I could have used a 50 millimeter for the softbox photos because I can back up a lot, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's a very versatile lens. Now I have a sitter session. Well, actually, a five month old baby session. I can use the 50 millimeter lens or the 24 to 70. It doesn't really matter because it's just one baby I'm photographing. But I don't need to create like a really blurry background. Well, maybe a little bit because I don't actually want to see the Flocati running into the backdrop. I want it to be like very blurry and smooth. Um, so yeah, I'll change from the 24 to 70 to the 50 millimeter. Okay, so I thought I could film a little bit during this uh, sitter session shooting the 50 millimeter. But uh, today's session, uh, the parents didn't give me permission to share the photos or videos. So uh, I'll be shooting anyways with my 50 millimeter lens, the, the sitter session. But I'm not going to show anything behind the scenes and the final images. Which means that this is the end of the video. So I will maybe share in another video uh, a sitter session with the 50mm lens. So that's to come. Uh, but my verdict, will I use the 50mm during newborn sessions? Mm, no, maybe not. I like the 24 to 70. Uh, I did change a little bit my aperture because I was always, well in the past I was always shooting at 3.5. Then I switched to 3.2 and now wide open 2.8. I trust the camera, the adapter combination and the lens. So that's great. Um, but uh, yeah, the 24 to 70 for me personally works better for the newborns because I can stay very close to the baby on the beanbag. I don't have to move back that much, especially when the child is moving arms and legs. I can stay close and um, just zoom out and um, yeah, sibling photos, it just gives me a little bit wider frame, photographing 24, 35, whatever. Um, and it's just a smaller space, so then I, if I shoot with my 50mm, I'm like cramped against the wall. Um, and I like to uh, use the 24 to 70 for newborns, but I like that I have a backup lens now, so maybe one day I drop my 24 to 70. I do have insurance, but it will take time for them to fix it. Uh, then I have my backup 50 millimeter and I can still photograph newborns with that as well. But I prefer the 24 to 70 for newborns. But I definitely prefer the 50 millimeter for cake smashes. And I think for sitters as well. But that will come in a separate video. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Love reading your comments and um, hopefully I can see you in the comments. You see me in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.